I would say on the show scene, yeah. how it's completely now growing in every show. So let me first introduce you to Saki, or I still call her Lily. Um, she is our director of cosplay uh, here at CSC. But um, I guess it's something that you wouldn't think that would happen with a sport card show, and you're probably right. But uh, I think for even if today with all the cosplayers presence, it's, it brought a new element and uh, I guess just the interest of, of okay. cosplay as well too. But So let's get into it because every show I see now regardless of any kind of collectibles, uh, mm -hmm. gaming, TCG shows, uh, video game shows, like, there's always been kind of a, a section yeah. for cosplay. Uh, so what would you say has been the appeal and the growth of cosplay in all these different shows and then also the growth in cosplay in general. Um, I do want to say that beforehand, cosplaying is typically when you see characters or people dressing up as different characters. It's something that a lot of people think of that we do for Halloween, but we would do it quite often. I think the biggest thing that drives cosplayers on their costume, put in a lot of effort and bring them to these shows, is more of a display of passion. For when it comes to TCG, it's almost like how we're very passionate about our different cards, our slabs. We want to show our passion through how we are dressed, how we look. We want to take photos with everyone and overall create the community, make everyone happy. Mm. So, why now? You know, wh yeah. why is it right now? It seems like, uh, like I said, every show has it. Um, there seems like a lot more events catered to it now. Yeah. And we're, we're ourselves, we're very passionate about it because we know it's a, such a strong community. Yes. Um, and the appeal is so high. So why now? Why, why the appeal has just kind of just grown so much? I think cosplay in the past was definitely more niche because it is more within the anime fan base and even the anime fan base itself was very niche. But especially over the years as anime itself grew larger and the overall fan base got larger, especially during like the COVID boom, I think it brought out like a lot of people interested in the cosplaying. You would see like a lot of younger cosplayers come out into the scene as well. Mm. So let's 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 get the I guess our artists were familiar, even for myself, I'm still learning a lot. Yeah. So what is the cosplay community and, and, and how it's like? It's just it's, I guess to a lot of people, it's just, oh, a bunch of people getting up dressed up, having fun. But, yep. of course, it entails more than that. Like you said, it's a it's a craft. It's a passion. It's yes. an art. Yes. And, and how that kind of also infiltrates so much other areas. Of course, anime, uh, J-pop, uh, TCGs, they're all kind of all, yeah, inter all inter intertwined, yes. right? It's, it's all kind of all part of the same uh, <laughs> collecting or, 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 or culture of it all. Yeah. So how would you kind of like... Oh, give us your take on what the cosplay culture is like. The cosplay culture... I say that the cosplay culture it has been ever-evolving. One of the biggest reasons that cosplay is starting to get integrated into K-pop, into J-pop, into TCG as well, is because you have people with interests in these different fields who also themselves are a cosplayer. Like, I myself as a cosplayer, I'm a huge fan of TCG. So TCG cosplays might be something that I am pursuing. We have also seen like a lot of recent idol cosplayers who love doing J-pop performances, love doing K-pop performances. We have a lot of singer cosplayers. It's just everyone bringing their skills together to share as a passion, as a part of the community. Because cosplay itself, to me at least, is more than just putting on a costume. Right. There's so many different skills involved in the cosplay set, like wig styling, sewing your costumes, right. making your costumes out of foam, modeling. There's a lot of different skills that come into cosplay. It, I definitely appreciate it now more as an art form of the of the details yeah. that are paid attention to it to make it like looking accurate. Um, the quality of the props mm -hmm. um, it's mind blowing to me because because I think once again for for those who don't know about initially just kind of like how is this different from Halloween? Me going to a a party city or yeah, something yeah. And, and, and putting on a costume, but. It's the, the once again. It's uh, I, I see the like how much people spend on making the costumes. The money, the dedication. It's like, all there. You know when 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 the first time I asked where, well how like how did much to put this together? I was like oh I spent like a few thousand dollars. I, I, my mind was blown. I was just like yeah. because it's just the small intricacies of yes. of the details. And I was like 
then I really understood it that it is an art form. Yes. That, that, that it is something that is a, it's an expression. Yeah. Right? And yeah. Uh, It's a love for the characters as well. It's a love for the shows that we are trying to give back to the community. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's really kind of amazing to me and how, how it's kind of grown. Yes. So when it comes to kind of like cosplay and like when they do the shows, what, what, do, what do people expect when they go to like a cosplay event or shows or vendors like obviously we're the context here with sports cards and, and yeah. tcgs you, you know cardboard everyone's in a cardboard yeah. but um if a person said i've never been to a cosplay event yes what am i expecting i would say that funnily enough there hasn't been a cosplay event in all of gta they're typically anime conventions where cosplayers go to but that's one thing that I would like to change with CSC. We want to bring cosplayer events over. So what to expect? It is definitely like a bit of a cultural shock, a different world. When you walk in and see almost everyone in costumes of different characters, some that you may recognize, some that completely niche series that they themselves love and want to represent for the community. And you would see a lot of cosplayers, we are all very friendly, so feel free to come ask us for photos. We love taking photos with everyone, and I think that's one of the biggest highlights. We take photos with different guests, we take photos with people cosplaying the same series as us, and if we run into someone cosplaying the same series, it's an immediate spark for discussion. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So, I guess give better context, uh, how do you think is the cosplay scene, like, I guess we'll say like in Canada in general, and then maybe specifically here, like in the, in the greater Toronto area, like yeah. how, how, how is it like? Is it just how vibrant it is? How many people are into it? Like, want to speak on that? I know in the States, yeah. there's certain things that only kind of maybe more in certain cities and, and more spread out. Like, I know, like, obviously in yeah, Los yes. Angeles, this thing will be like huge, and of course, being in Japan, whatever. Mm -hmm. But how's the scene in Canada? And I guess here Canada. in Toronto. I would say that the scene, the cosplay scene in Canada, GTA, it is definitely blossoming. It is getting a lot larger than usual. And I really want to bring all the cosplayers together in like a CSC community. Because you would see a lot of these communities in the US, a lot of these in Japan, because they do have these cosplayer conventions. And they also have like a lot of cosplay booths, a lot of photo shoot areas that we in Canada, we just don't have because we are pretty spread out as cosplayers, right. despite the fact that we're all part of the GTA cosplay community. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, this kind of great insight. With the conventions that already exist, of course the big ones like Anime North and Fan Expo and everything, what, what do you think is kind of the, the next thing? Where do you want to see the cosplay community grow? Where uh, just like this, opportunities to be in, in, in other genres of collectibles. Like, where do you want to see the cosplay community grow? I guess yeah. in general. I think cosplay in general, because it's so versatile. Even when we come to these like TCG shows, despite the fact that it's mostly cards, it would be a lot of fun having a lot of Pokemon cosplayers. We had a Lucario. We had a giant Eevee mm -hmm. today. They were super popular. It was yeah. always fun to take photos with them. I think because it's so versatile, it could enter into any genre. As long as there's people passionate for these characters, passionate for this genre, wants to go out, wants to take photos, wants to have fun, then the cosplay will exist in that area. Awesome. Uh, for me personally, and not, and not just us being co-workers, yeah. so to speak, but I'm definitely really interested of where what we can do, but also help facilitate the cosplay community, the, the further growth and kind of your vision of what you see is going to happen. So. Thank you for your insights. Um, I know this might be a very new and foreign thing to a lot of things, but you, know, you got to see like all a lot of shows definitely have a cosplay element to it now. So once again, thank you again. Thank you. And uh, we'll be right back with uh, the man himself, Steve Menzi from the Expo. So let's see you in the next segment.